Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. FCC proposes $2.8 million fine against Hobby King. Time drops special issue. And Parrot launches a Nafi 4K HDR camera drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. It's not good news for the folks at Hobby King. The FCC has proposed a $2.8 million fine against them for marketing 65 models of devices used to relay video from drones to amateur drone operators, which could apparently transmit in unauthorized radio frequency bands, including some that could also operate at excessive transmission power levels. Such unlawful transmissions can interfere with key government and public safety services, like aviation systems and weather radar systems. Through its website, HobbyKing.com, HobbyKing markets devices that provide a video link between transmitters mounted on unmanned aircraft systems and users flying drones. The FCC's Enforcement Bureau opened an investigation into the company's marketing of radio frequency devices and potential violation of the Communications Act and Commission's rules. In response to these complaints, the FCC issued a formal citation to warn the company that it must comply with these requirements. The $2,861,128 proposed fine, formally called a Notice of Apparent Liability for Forfeiture, or NAL, contains only allegations that advise a party on how it has apparently violated the law and may set forth a proposed monetary penalty. Hobby King will be given an opportunity to respond and the Commission will consider their submission of evidence and legal arguments before acting further to resolve the matter. In the next general minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and Hobby Drone communities. Here is an intensely cool unmanned air vehicle operation. SpaceX has released high-quality photos of the recovery of the payload fairings that protected the Iridium-6 Gracefo satellite during launch on May 22nd. SpaceX reports that Falcon 9 fairing has deployed their parafoils and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean last week after the launch of the Iridium-6 Grace Foe. Closest half was 50 meters from SpaceX's recovery ship, Mr. Steven. The recovery is another step towards more complete reusability of SpaceX rocket components. A new report published by Allied Market Research projects that the global commercial drones market was valued at $2.1 billion in 2015 and is projected to reach $10.7 billion by 2022, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 26.2% through the period. The Bureau Council of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania was considering strong restrictions against flying drones in its public parks. The council discussed the issue Monday. The town initially recommended that drone operators be prohibited from flying over public parks without the express written consent of the Recreation Department. When AMA's Angie Martin and the Government Affairs Group got involved, though, things quickly turned around. Based on current information, we're happy to report that Chambersburg will not be proposing any type of UAS ordinance in the foreseeable future. Specialists from NOAA have worked with local volunteers to help save wells by launching small boats with trained teams to disentangle them from water hazards. To help make the process safer, well rescue squads are turning to a new technology, drones. Matt Pickett, a former NOAA sanctuary manager, is now the founder of Oceans Unmanned, which facilitates the use of drones for marine conservation. Oceans Unmanned recently unveiled the Free Fly program providing aerial support using small drones for large well entanglement response efforts. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The world of unmanned technology is showing its effect on all manner of life experiences, including the cover of Time magazine. Intel Shooting Star drones helped create their first magazine cover as a part of the recent Time Drones special issue. 
The issue is a first-time cover photo shot by a drone and featured an Intel drone light show. In early May, Intel's drone team worked with Time magazine to replicate a massive Time masthead and a red border in the Folsom, California sky with nearly 1,000 Intel Shooting Star drones. The magazine also includes an article contributed by Intel CEO Brian Kersanich, highlighting the innovation, transformation, and new perspectives drones bring to our lives. Intel drone technology normally dedicated to real working roles in a number of professional disciplines has also been repurposed as an entertainment system. In addition to displays at Super Bowls, rock concerts, and other public venues, Intel Shooting Star drones were recently used to create the sporting images as a part of the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 Victory Ceremony drone light shows. Parrot has announced a Nafi, a diminutive foldable drone. Its forearms fold and unfold in less than three seconds. The Parrot Sky Controller 3 remote control unfolds in one second and automatically connects to an Afi. Via carbon fiber hollow glass micro B construction, an Afi weighs in at only 11.2 ounces. An Afi uses a USB C charging system. Its 4K HDR camera is equipped with a 21 megapixel sensor and a 3-axis stabilization system with 180-degree vertically rotating camera and a lossless zoom up to 2.8 times. Flight times of 25 minutes are possible using a smart battery. Anafi's camera is mounted on a gimbal stabilized on three axes, while a stabilized gimbal makes it possible to achieve a vertical tilt of negative 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees. Anafi is equipped with a lossless zoom of 1.4 times in 4K and 2.8 times in Full HD. In addition, Anafi is equipped with a dual band antenna to ensure optimal connection with the Parrot Sky Controller 3. Anafi monitors its Wi-Fi environment in order to switch channels when the one it uses becomes crowded. This boosts optimal spectrum utilization performance and allows Anafi to fly up to 2.48 miles. Anafi will be in stores beginning July 1, 2018, at the price of $699. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes, covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.